before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know this is a long one. So if you are not interested in uh, longer videos, you know, skim through it. But the video is mainly going to be about new players, content, everything Red Dead related that I have been noticing the last couple days on my Twitch. So if you guys haven't seen my Twitch, please check out the link down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the what video. Is up. <gasps> You know who it is. Juvenate back at it again with another video. I gotta stop saying that because I sound like an idiot when I say that shit. Anyways, before we get into today's video, I just want to say, guys, we are five subscribers away on Twitch from being able to get new emotes. We are two follows away from being at 150 follows. So, calling all you outlaws, you like Red Dead? Do you want a chance to play with me? Go hit that follow button. Tune into my streams, and if you got, you know, if you feel uh, like you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And subscribe to me on Twitch, you know? But anyways, guys, let's talk about the most recent updates again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, as you guys know, week two of Halloween updates. They gave us an extra 25% on all money earned for all roles. That is right. Every role. Not just a certain role. All roles. And all roles are also giving out double the amount of role XP. So there's some positivity from this horrible update that we've gotten since Halloween. And right now as it stands... This game is is dead, okay? I love this game. I know I'm not saying it's dead as in player count. I'm not saying it's dead as in like uh like the, the, not 100% dead. The game is not dead by far. There's a tons of players playing it. There's tons of stuff to do. But as it comes from a hardcore player of Red Dead as myself, I am currently sitting at rank 100 243. Okay, I've seen people the last couple days who are even higher ranks than me, which doesn't surprise me. They probably do nothing but play this game. But that brings me to the next topic, guys. The reason why Red Dead has succeeded so much was because, one, a lot of people don't like GTA. I used to like GTA until they started adding in all the futuristic shit, but... It is what it is with that. With a, lo a lot more player count coming into the game and new players coming into the game, and don't tell me there isn't, because I happen to know quite a few who have either just recently got the game or are below rank 50. Alright? Which isn't a big deal. If you're below rank 50, you're below rank 50. If you just started the game, welcome to Red Dead. But, on today's live stream that I did, well, I should say yesterday because it's a new day. But on the live stream I just did with a couple of people from the stream who have subscribed and follow the channel, they are part of my posse in the game, and they join me from every about basically every live stream. So shout out to them. But we got waxed, guys. And I, I'm not. I'm not, I'll say this right now. I can hang and fight just as good as the rest of them. But when you got five guys ganging up on nothing but like, okay, now I'm not showing shade at them because they did they did held they held their own for being lower ranks. I'm talking from rank 250 to the highest being almost 400 and their lowest level of their posse that they had was rank 45 my second highest posse member at the time was rank almost 90 I think I can't remember the next highest I want to believe is like in the 60s or 70s and then after that I have someone who just started the game was one of my buddies in real life. He's already rank 
almost 40. He's been playing this game nonstop since he's bought it. But at the end of the day, no one wants to deal with PvP sweats and free roam. Quite frankly, it kind of sucks. It seems like when there's more money to be earned and more XP to be earned, the griefers come onto the game and they ruin the experience for new players, for people who just want to just do their own thing and fuck around and, you know, like, yeah, start some shit with the posse. No big deal. Shit is fun when you're fucking around and, you know, you're not getting absolutely shoved in your ass, no mercy, 24-7. Th this was... It brings me to my next topic, right? A lot of you don't know this. There is explosive gun ammo type that you can buy for every gun. And that's all they would use. The higher levels. Between that and the always the same ability cards in every PvP sweat. Slippery Bastard was one. Iron Lung. Uh, never Without One. And the other one... Which I actually have to pull up the loadout ability. I'm going to be ranking up all my cards, because this is, this is my loadout for my ability loadout. Come back stronger, peak condition, and never without one. This saves my ass. These two were kind of good. But what they were using was Iron Lung. And then they had on... Uh, they had on never without one, like I said. I don't remember what the third one was. It was one of these. Oh, yeah. Strange Medicine is what they also had on. Which kind of sucks ass, because you regain a little health whenever you inflict damage. Your health otherwise regenerates at half the normal rate. So you're getting a little bit slower health rate. But every time you take damage or deal damage, you gain your health back. So for a lot of the newer players, though... <laughs> They don't have access to all these ability cards and all the money that we have. And, the, you know, like myself, I have, I had, okay, I bought a new horse. I had $37,000. I am now down to 33386 which is still a lot of money. And I have 80 gold. That's more gold than what most players have. Especially starting out. You, you get, like, you start with zero gold. And a lot of people take and take the five dollars or ten dollars or how much it is, and go and get themselves some gold so they can get some rolls. Now, guys, mind you, if you're new to the channel. Every month, I try to do a gold giveaway. It all depends on current situations of my own. So if I have extra money, there'll be a giveaway. There's always going to be a giveaway. I'm not saying there isn't going to be a giveaway ever because that's not true. Every month there's a giveaway. I at least give out, try to give out 350 gold, which rounds out to $100. So those of you who do come to my Twitch stream and subscribe or donate bits and or just donate in general. Whatever you guys put into the channel, if you just subscribe on here, I'm okay with that. If you just... If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, I'm okay with that. I'm not saying subscribe to me on Twitch. Okay, I, I would never ask for any of your guys' money. I don't need it. It's appreciated if you do subscribe. I also will be doing a subscriber-only, though, giveaway on Twitch coming in December. So if you guys want to get involved in that, you need to subscribe to me on Twitch if you want to get the Twitch one as well. I am also giving away 20 dollars worth of gold at, if we hit the follow goal which we are at 19 out of 25 if we don't get it I will still pick someone at random 55 gold bars can go a long way especially to someone who's not a high rank even if you are a high rank that will still go a long way but guys enough of that if you guys want to know more about the giveaway, please comment down below, and please check out my October giveaway. If you do not comment on the video saying, I forget what I said to say on the video, October giveaway or something maybe like that, or, I gotta go look, it's something. Here it is. 
October giveaway. That that's the one. If you guys did not comment that on the video, chances are you're not entered. Okay, and the only way to enter, this is the only way I know that you're entered, is if you comment and if you also subscribe to the channel. You have to subscribe to the channel on my on YouTube to be entered in my monthly giveaways. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I do not want to have any issue with anyone who's not subscribed. If you're not subscribed and you see the video, that's fantastic. Thank you for watching the video. But I'm a player who wants to give back to his community. Okay, and Red Dead is my community. I have been playing Red Dead since the beginning. I have made a lot of money in this game. If you guys want to make money, if you're on PlayStation, I have a PlayStation community. Don't be afraid to at me. Don't be afraid to enter my Discord as well. I will be doing Discord giveaways coming in December as well. I'm trying to do as much as I can for the Red Dead community right now because one, we're all stuck inside. Two, you're probably stuck behind a, da a computer 90% of the time in the Zoom class, which sucks. Okay, I know. <laughs> if you're in school, I know. I know you guys don't want to be fuck be freaking sitting there behind a Zoom computer, bored out your mind all day. And I know if you're not, well, that's great. If you're not, if you're currently unemployed like myself, and mind you, just because I'm unemployed doesn't mean I'm not making any money, guys. Do not, I, I'm currently unemployed because of the current situation in the world. I do have a job to return to, and I am looking for other work that will pay me more so I can start doing better giveaways. If I get at least 200 followers on my Twitch channel... And at least 50 concurrent subscribers, there could be a huge giveaway in the future. But as of right now, it's kind of small on the Twitch side. YouTube, we got 100 followers, but, the you know, we got 100 subscribers. 103, actually. You guys are amazing for that. Thank you very much. It's You guys are making this stream slowly come true. And I am 100% okay with how slow it takes. But anyways, guys, like I was saying... I kind of rambled there. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I'm proud to say that right now. If you guys are playing this game... Uh-oh. I hear a cougar. I see the cougar. It sees me. It's go time. Not the California quail. Up there. Oh, you know, I didn't get it the first shot. Oh, not the second one. Oh, my God. There we go. Three arrows takes down the beast. I thought I hit in the head. But anyways, if you guys are new to the game, there's plenty of stuff to do where you don't have to be posse up with someone, okay? If your friends play it, posse up with a friend. I highly recommend it. The game will be ten times more fun with a game. And... If you are new and you're not ill, or if you're a returning player to Red Dead, then welcome back. A lot of players don't play free roam to PvP, to PvP. A lot of players get shot, they press charges. They don't want to deal with it. Defensive mode. I'm currently in defensive mode. For those of you who don't know how to enter it, just go down to your online options. Change your playing style. Usually it's on offensive. But we are on defensive because I was my posse that I was playing with on stream was getting harassed. Alright, there's no I have no problem with PvPing at all. Alright, you wanna PvP? Alright, let's PvP. But don't sit there and just murder us and murder us and murder us until we leave the session. That's not fun. It's not fun for anyone. No one wants to deal with it. That's just being a bully, in my opinion, and a gr It's not really being a bully because the term for online of getting that done is griefing. You're griefing a whole entire crowd of people. Like I was saying, I am rank 243. The next highest player was maybe rank 80 or close to 90. 
and it was about six or seven of them who are all past rank 100 or higher. That's not fair to the rest of the players. All right. These these players, they can take it. Like I said, we we all took it. We all know how to tactically retreat. We all know the PvP players just absolutely go hamburglar on you because they got nothing better to do with their time. But it kind of discourages a lot of people from wanting to play the game. I know in my streams, I, I mess around a lot and shoot uh, one of my friends, Deadshot. We shoot him, we tie him up, it's just a good laugh. We don't, we don't mind it. You know, we're, we're, bust, we're just messing around. You know, but every now and again, we do run to those people who just spawn into the game and just decide, oh, I'm just going to shoot you right in the face because I got nothing better to do with my time. And that, that needs to end. Rockstar, please bring us bring private sessions into the game or make it to where you can only play in smaller lobbies or something. The game was so much better when we had smaller lobbies. There was hardly any players, which sucked, but again, you can get on the game and do whatever you want. And right now around this time, when there's currently extra money given out basically for every role and people are trying to rank up all their roles now mind you bounty hunter takes a shit ton of bounties to rank 20 we were just today all we were doing on stream was bounty hunting i was trying to get them up in the ranks some of them got up to 20 some of them got up to 12 and some just started so it's no big deal a lot of us and a lot of these players that i do play with don't have money like i do a lot of them don't even have a hundred dollars to their name in the game. So for you, you guys at Rockstar to be giving out twenty-five percent extra money, and then you have all the the griefers and the toxic ass players come back onto the game because of it, because your Halloween mode sucks ass, because you guys think over at Rockstar Studio we want to fight, you know. Zombies that have guns, and they're not even zombies. Let's just let's call, let me call it, tell you what it is. Cult following. That's basically what it is. They're cults, like cult group. They have guns. They're dressed in makeup. They're they got you know. And then you're playing other players, and then I mean that mode sucks complete ass. I'd rather sit here in free roam, collect my ass off, make a couple thousand dollars just by sitting in free roam, versus getting my ass handed to me. And I mean, I did get my ass handed to me. I'm not lying about that. If you guys don't, if you guys want to see the clips, I'll post it. It will be on my Twitch. But this is too late. Maybe too be uh, too long of a video. But anyways, I just wanted to voice my concerns on this because it seems like more and more players are coming into the game, and a lot more, you know, veteran players are just taking the time now just to grief them because they're bored. Rockstar, you really need to do something either about that or the lack of content that is in the game. Okay? For some, for a lot of people who are just getting into the game, there isn't a lack of content. They have one, two, three, four, five different roles they can use for any kind of content they want. Right? Us veteran players have no content to play. We're bored. We, we want something to do. We've done everything. We own everything. We have tons of money. Tons of gold. We have tons of people killed. Tons of AIs killed. We've been negative honor, positive honor, neutral honor. I mean, the list goes on. There is nothing left to do. And when I get on the game the, the other day, I held my own race with my stream. And it was a blast. Like, y'all should be bringing... Y'all should be, like, really considering hiring on someone that's a creative... Uh, you know, has creative ideas because... We did, and unfortunately, the only way to do this, because you can't just buy racing wagons or a wagon in general, unless it's the bounty hunter wagon, and you can't get that unless you're at the bounty hunter. So we went to St. Denis, and we took wagons. We took the wagon like this right in front of me, and we raced them. We raced them from St. Denis to all the way up to uh, James Adler, Jimmy Adler, whatever his name is, all, from... From all the way down there, all the way up to here, to Jake Adler. Yeah, Jake. Top of the map, from basically the bottom of the map. It was fun. 
It was a blast. We had, I had about six other people besides myself, six or five, one of the two. People, you know, going and getting wagons, and we raced just because it's different. And then we just started jumping off of shit. Like, there's <laughs> stuff like that. You know, there, there could be a game mode. Wagon races. There's races, but there's no wagon races. And there's no wagons that you can buy. And there's no taxi service that you can do. Like, back then they had station wagon coaches like that. Why can't I buy one and just make a profit off of that? Or the gold rush, which was also around this time. And the railroad, which was also around this time. There's so much stuff around this time era that they haven't done yet. And they're slacking. And the main reason why that is, is because everyone's speculating it. Next-gen consoles. Well, newsflash, they haven't announced shit for next-gen before it comes to Red Dead. But they have GTA. GTA is going on seven years now. Red Dead came out three years ago, maybe? Give or take. Full online didn't come out until about a year ago. When we got some roles and then we got some more stuff to do. I mean, the game is basically brand fucking new. But yet, they do not want to update this game at all. And it's, a, it's an issue. It is a goddamn issue when you have veteran players harassing newer players, newer players quitting and bitching to Rockstar, Rockstar only caring about money from GTA, and, and it, it's, it's a sham. It's a sham. Honestly, God, they don't give a shit about it unless it's making them money. This game could make them tons of money. And I'm going to tell you how right now. Get rid of the gold system. Let us earn gold. And let us take that gold, how it worked in the campaign, to a fence. And now you may want to tweak it a little bit to where it's not going to dish out as much as it did in the campaign. Tweak that a little bit. Get rid of the gold system. And bring in shark, you know, shark cards. Y'all want to make some money. People want to make money. But they would also rather take the time out of their day. And we've seen with the fiscal scale and a profit margin from Rockstar that shark cards work. So why not reverse what you guys have done, get rid of the gold option, and just let us buy money. Simple. But anyways, guys, enough of this ranting on. If you guys liked the video and you made it this far through the, uh, through the whole video, leave a like down below. Let's try and shoot for at least one like on the video. Comment down below if you agree with me. Hello. If not... Comment down below why you don't agree with me, and we'll have a conversation. Also, guys, my Discord server link should be in the description. If it's not, please let me know. I'll be linking it in the description just in case if it's not, you know. I'll link it in the comments just in case if it's not there. If you guys haven't see it, then I know it won't be there because you guys would have said something. Also, guys, October is almost done, so the October giveaway is almost up. So don't forget to subscribe to be entered in the October giveaway. If you do not win the October giveaway, there is always another giveaway for the next month. If you win one giveaway, if you're the winner of the October giveaway, you will not be able to enter in the November giveaway, but does not exclude you from Twitch or Discord or Twitter. Oh, I might even do Twitter giveaways at one point. But anyways, guys, subscribe, like, links down below in the description. Let me know if, it, if you guys are having fun on the game. I know I'm still having fun. It's just frustrating when you get in a lobby and there's nothing but guys who want to grief you. But let me know your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.